They'll be calling you a radical. Back to the landscape, the time, the place, the over the top, the underneath, the jet stream, the we, the round, the flatness of the earth, the sculpture of the earth, the roundness of the earth. The earth is round. The earth is not flat. The earth is fucking round. It is round. The queen. You guys go ahead and bow to the fucking queen all you fucking want, fuckers. As I go back in history and space and time, as he was asked, where can you go? Where would you go? Place and time. Back to Egypt with the pharaohs. But I wouldn't stop there. Over to Mount Olympus with Pluto and the boys and the gang. Hypocrisis, hypocrites, liarists, philosophicus. Wouldn't stop there. Then I would go to jolly old England, King George, 1774. Is that where we're at? I wouldn't stop there. Come to North America. If you think the Nazis invented genocide, you know nothing about the American West. Well, it's been down to the last men, woman, and child. Remember this, fucks. They were still murdering whole families of California Native Americans in the 1940s. There were still stuffed Native Americans in the Metropolitan Museum in New York City in the 1970s. I wouldn't stop there. Would I go to the antebellum South? Oh, those Foxconn slaves that stand in there, they'd give them food, housing, and shelter. We're doing them a Harry Beecher Stowe. Where the fuck are you? Where's the African-American fucking leaders? Where the fuck are they? Honestly, I'll say this. At the shirtwaist event, at the shirtwaist fire, all these quintessential fucking counter-social engineers, they live in New York City. They live in New York City. Naomi, Wolfie, Klein. Chris, I'm going to hedge my freaking bets every time with my publicist. No, fuck you. Go back to your real name, Norm. Don't you love these fuckers? I didn't see one of them. They live right there. Could have walked out of our house. Pussy Riot is sold out. Pussy Riot is fucking sold out. Are they CIA? Maybe. Taking photographs with Hillary? Really? Are they just naive? Wow. Snowden, Snowden. Wow, how did he get a platform on 60 Minutes? Aaron Swartz had it right. Would I stop there? No, I would come to the industrial Pittsburgh, 1923, and watch the enslavement of children in black soot. All those children who grew up to be men, Irish, Italians, they formed mobs, as the mob has whacked the mob in Italy. Why do you think the fucking nuclear cartel can't show back up in Italy? They try. They kneecap those fuckers. They lined up fucking CEOs and executed them. In their fucking houses. Oh, I didn't read that in the history book. Yes, you fucking did. I wouldn't stop there. I would go to the 1960s. Oh, John Kennedy, Rachel Carson, Rachel Carson, Rachel Carson. I would go back to Tennessee. Memphis? No, Knoxville. Who's Megan Rice? Why has Pussy Riot not went and visited Megan Rice? I know for a fact they know that her. Via me, because I got an email from the so-called Pussy Riot. People. Come on, fam, man, we need you. I wouldn't stop there. Oh, what, they murdered all those guys? They murdered all those guys? What? They're all dead? I wouldn't stop there. NAFTA, Bill Walmart, Clinton? Go to the time, the time, 2014. Nets in China, General Motors, America goes, General Motors goes, oh, they went bankrupt. No, they didn't. Just the stockholders went bankrupt. The bondholders went bankrupt. America went bankrupt. Again, again. I will. Well, I guess we will stop there. Steve Chinese Jobs to Barry. 
Antoinette, let that be L and K. Steve, what about bringing the jobs back to California? It costs $4 more a phone. Let me tell you, Barack, they left and they're never coming back. The only thing not coming back is Steve Cheney's jobs and all of us. We're going to stop here, I guess. Slave shelter. Oh, we give them food and shelter. I'm an NFL player. I'm the great, great grandson of an antebellum slave. I will run down the NFL field with hair extensions and execute Chinese prisoners. Oh, 1%. We hate them. We hate them. And we hate them. When we expect the 1% to protect the 1%. Or do we expect the 1% to protect the 99%? Who is the 99%? Who is the 1%? Fucking wow. One-tenth of one fucking millionth of one percent. They fucking kill them. Aaron Swartz, Michael Hastings, Pat too. What a landscape. What a landscape. Would I stop there? He was my favorite of all time. My dad. And he. And my mom. The music stopped that day. Oh, yeah. D-Day. Oh, yeah. The day that we shut down San Onofre. We hit the fucking beach. Remember this, Martin Luther King was anti-nuclear hardcore. Hardcore anti nuclear Rich Carson was anti-nuclear hardcore. John Kennedy was anti-nuclear hardcore. This is the greatest slavery time. This is this is as hardcore, maybe even more hardcore than it was. As he said, the Pharaohs had one tool to keep the slaves. Usury. Fighting among themselves. Red pill, blue pill. Light up. Gold guns, God. Gaze. Wedge, 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 wedge. Baby boomers dressing up like freaking 18 year old kids. They name them fuckers, right? Babies. I won't stop. And I want to say this to all you fuckers says I'm a broken record, literally. Remember this, fucks. There's 104 nuclear reactors in the United States. I think I'm going to sit back and let my children and grandchildren be murdered like my father, like they tried to fucking make a sequel out of me? Fuck no. It's going to happen here. And I'm going to fight and try to fucking get them all shut down and the way shot into space before it happens here. I'll stop here for now. I'll keep going. Stay in tune.